John, John, you cast the United three, Salam one. Poor first half, you got to admit, but as soon as we fetched on our number nine, that completely changed. Oh, thanks for having us on, Pete. Um, you know what it is, right? I mean, oh, first half, you just said, uh, we're not great. I mean, look, I mean, I just felt a little bit, um, I would say nervous on the way, but we let Southampton play the, um, at their game. I thought Southampton looked really good. I think they compacted well, well drilled team. Shouldn't be at the bottom of the table, to be fair, but the one thing I will say, we couldn't come up with the answers to whatsoever. I think Gordon had a couple of chances, Boone had a chance as well. Other than that, it just couldn't finish. It was poor, absolutely poor, by the way. Yeah, that was the problem. Uh, we couldn't. Uh, we had a great chance in the first off through Gordon. I mean, that, uh, their goal was very questionable. It was picking Armstrong in the box. Uh. Oh, it's just poor. It's just a poor goal to concede. I mean, got lost the ball in midfield and they broke away. Where's the marking though? Where the ball's coming? Where's the marking? That that shouldn't be Marta. Where's Dan Burn? I mean, look, at the end of the day, it was just um, poor marking all the way through. I mean, to be fair, I think they deserved the goal because I thought they played really well. And um, other than that, I mean, we had to pick up very, very quickly. Second half, Eddie had to do something like about it, but he had to drop someone to make way for Callum Wilson. He was going to play him anywhere. And unfortunately, it was Anthony Gordon who had to um, make sacrifice um, for Eddie's tactics, by the way. Well, that was it, yeah. We needed to get Wilson on, and he, you mentioned he completely changes that. Just shame he could add maybe four goals. VR rules one out, and then he was unlucky by hitting the crossbar after that. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely offside. I mean, it took a long time for VR to check things out. I mean, I thought the defender missed the bar, and then Wilson finished it off. So, look, at the end of the day, one thing I'm going to say is, I mean, I thought VR got it right for once. It was definitely offside. Kong mourn about it. I knew that'd be checked. I didn't say that much. And here we are. Well, that was it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Would you start Wilson and have Isak out wide if Longstaff doesn't make the game against Arsenal? Because I would. I would as well. I would as well. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I mean, I think Anthony's going to be unlucky if he does get picked next on it. But I don't see why not we should go for it. Murphy, Isak and Callum up front. You know what I mean? Give him causing problems. I mean, they're not going to have Saliba play next Sunday. He's going to be a big miss for Arsenal. I think that back four ain't that great. That's why they're not going to win the title. I think we should take advantage of them. Arsenal's um, bottle jobs as well. And let's hope we smash them up. Like, so, Lottie, if you're watching this, Lottie, or Sophie, then I do apologise. We're going to win this game next week. I still can't see why we can't as well. The way they're just throwing that title challenge away now yeah. is just unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, Southampton, they're going down. There's no hope for them now, is there? I do, I'm not going to lie, I mean, they've got to go, Pete, they've got to go down right, you know, because I think they would have stopped up if Ralph was still at the club, if we were back to a striker, they would have stopped up in mid-table conflict, but at the end of the day, it goes to show, be careful what you wish for, Southampton fans, you know, and you're going to pay the penalty, you're going to get relegated, simple as that, but at the end of the day, you lose 21 games in the season, you are going to get relegated. Well, that's it, isn't it? Well, there you go. Shaggy, Newcastle United 3, Southampton 1. Really, really awful first half. But as soon as we fetched on our number nine in the second half, it completely changed. Well, I was telling you before the game, Southampton will come out with a game plan, the bottom of the league. It's a case of can we, you know, control um, what they're actually trying to do, which is they're, they're going to try to hit with from the, from the get-go. And we knew that. But it was a case of can we show our quality and get the game finished by half time because we proved it against Tottenham last week, we proved yeah. it against Everton, you know, that we can you know we can score a lot of goals and we're in good confidence. Southampton and I, I didn't say they were fantastic. I mean we, we were poor first off, you know, we're off it. We were so sluggish on the ball, giving the ball away far too cheaply. And we gave Southampton a couple of chances. And when they scored before half time, they probably deserved it on the balance of play because of just the, the, the poor tracking, the poor marking, and just, I mean, there's, there's not a lot Pope can do about it. And the second half, you're looking for a response. And, 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 I, and I knew, uh, you know, we're bringing on Callum Wilson that we'll get that response. In Southampton, it's only a matter of time before, you know, they concede. And once they concede, it's how many goals we can get. And we've, you know, managed to get three. Um, we've scored the goals in the second half where it mattered. In the end, it probably could have finished six or seven, eight, eight one to, to Newcastle. It could have been so. I'm just absolutely collapsed in that second half. They did, didn't they? But um, Wilson, he could have had maybe four. VR chalked one off and he hit the bar as well. 
Well, it was definitely off it offside, was. but it shouldn't take as long as it did. Yeah, I mean, it's just they need to sort this out. Yeah, and it's a, it's a real frustration, you know, for for us fans. Obviously, we're, we're celebrating. It, it it goes to to all Premier League clubs and their fans. But we didn't let it affect. We just kept going, and uh, it was only minutes later when we, you know, eventually got the got the goal. And I mean, uh, who, was that definitely Bruno's goal by the looks of it? I can't be one hundred percent. I can of tell as well. No, one. no, but it was an important goal. They uh, got with two one up, and then the third one come, and then I uh, say it could have been four, five, six, seven, eight. Southampton are bottom for a reason because they've got nothing, you know, about themselves. They don't really look a team. Um, they look like a, a Steve Bruce side, actually. What what we used to continuously watch, you know, for a couple of seasons. Uh, and you, you can tell them um, that they weren't really prepared for what was to come in the second half because we know in the Gallagher end, you know, we that's our best end in, in, in the stadium. Yeah. And you know, once it gets going, you know, the, the opposition there, teams find it hard. And um, I said it was a, a comfortable, you know, afternoon's work at the end. Certainly was, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I think Southampton, they're going. They're definitely going by the looks of it. Um, would you start Wilson and have Isaka on the left if Longstaff doesn't make the Arsenal game? Because I would. Don't see why not. I mean, there was talk about why it was Gordon starting this, that and the other. And he wasn't too bad the day. He was, he was all right. Uh, he missed a sitter in the Miss first should have half. Scored that. He, you know, he's been too clever. He's tried to, you know, just sort of put it in the in the bottom corner, and he, he's hit the post as a result. If he chips McCarthy, he scores, in my opinion. Um, but going on to what you said about Isaac and uh, Wilson, yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, you've you've got to you've got to sort of test the waters in a way. You've you, you you've got to just experiment, and I think that's what Eddie Howe's doing. You know, we've got the points on the board, and he's just got to see, you know, what fits and. Uh, it's good to see that we've got options as well because you know back in the day under Mike Ashley it would have been a case of oh who do we bring off off the be off the bench who can actually make an impact. We've got players now that you know can step up and, and, and do a job. So when Sean Longstaff's out, you you know you've got somebody like like Joe Linton who could potentially yeah. go back into midfield or he can go out wide. You, you can make those changes. Yep. Um, ag against Arsenal, it wouldn't surprise us if he did change it and maybe Gordon comes on the second half. But who knows? It, it all depends. Um, but you can only admire the football that we're playing at the minute. It's it's That's good it. good to watch, and uh, you, you've got to give Eddie a lot of credit. All the the staff, whatever was said at half time, they must have had a rollicking because they've come out and they've played how we know Newcastle United to be, which is to be you know free flowing, four free free counter attacking sides, getting at them, and Southampton, as I said, didn't know what hit them, and uh, they proved why they're bottom of the league, and we've proved why you know we're in the top four. And we're going to stay there and we deserve to be there. Yes, we do. Absolutely. That's the main thing. Can we beat Arsenal? I don't see why not. I think the bottle, uh, they're thrown away this Matt with Man City winning. That'll, that'll have put them top. I don't think they'll win the league personally. I've, I've said there, Man City all along will have the quality to do so. They'll find a way. Arsenal do what they always do. You know, they have a, 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 maybe it's a good start of the season and they throw it away. I mean, I could be wrong. Who knows? But I think Arsenal are there to be got at. You know, we went down to the Emirates, but we got a respectable you know, nil nil draw. But up here, we could beat anybody. You know, this place is a fortress. Absolutely. And I wouldn't pull a pass with that. We actually get the three points next week. Same as well. Brilliant, thank you. Lawrence, you cast the United three, sell that one. Really poor first half, but second half, completely changed. As soon as we fetched Callum Wilson on, we could, that completely changed. And we got those. And we finally got the goals that we needed to make sure we got these three points at the end of the day. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we were just very frustrating. But then, uh, and then going in 1 0 down. But then. We brought on Wilson and um, he got two goals. Uh, unfortunately, he was definitely offside with the one that was disallowed. And it, the timing of the, just how long does it take to make these decisions? Because that, from what I heard, it was about four minutes. The thing is, you're, you're either offside or you're not. Um, when it comes to like, offside and stuff like uh, bit of the ball go out, uh, we've had a golden style for that. Uh, you know, you shouldn't have, they shouldn't have taken that long. Like, just shows the line and shows. You know what happened when the ball was getting played, shows the line, and then, um, like, red if it's offside, and then obviously green if it's onside. I mean, uh, it was the goal had, um, well, Evan had choked off. Um, it was quite quick um, from our member to confirm that it was offside. Well, that was it, yeah, but I mean, do you think that was that single? Definitely Bruno says it was hard to tell, wasn't it? Well, I think we all thought it was Botman, but. Um, I'll have to see the replay, but uh, they, do, yeah. they've given it to Bruno. I was hoping to be bottom because he's not scored for us yet. Uh, of course, Bruno does like a goal against Southampton. Three, he goals, does, does three goals for him against them. Um, but you never know. I mean, size the Premier League goal thing and like uh, take goals away from a player, give it to someone else, or put down his own goal. I think he tapped the Shearer one time. 
Absolutely, definitely. Um, he could have had a hurry, uh, four goals today, Wilson. I mean, got the two, but you mentioned the the other one, and then he hit the bar afterwards. Well, yeah, uh, I said four one. I was um, close to that. I, but obviously we just re-stepped up second half. I don't remember so I'm having a chance. Nah, neither do I. I mean, to be fair, what kind of what they get? I mean, there was, there was a lot of time wasting from them first half. Oh yeah. But um, Yorkwood yeah, just came through, got the three points, and closing in on Champions League football. And we've um, better, we've we'll we'll matched the uh, points tally from 11-12. Right, absolutely. So um, they're going down this season, aren't they? Yeah, I think they could be rather in the next two games. We've got Nottingham Forest, I believe, next so we're at the city ground. I think Forest will probably win that one. And that'll leave them nine points behind with three games left. Uh, at that point, they need, they need to win all their games, obviously. And hope Forest lost all theirs, which is not happening. Yeah, I can't see it as well. Can we beat Arsenal a week today? I can't see why not. They've, they'll, they'll be second now with Man City winning. I can't see why we can't do it again like we did it last season. Absolutely, you know, right now we can, uh, you know what it is, we've got the belief that we can beat uh, anybody and uh, Arsenal just looks like, I think they'll win against Chelsea on Tuesday but uh, looks like their title bid is uh, collapsing. I mean they can go back top beforehand but uh, you can't see Man City so, but losing it now. No you can't can you, well thank you. Adam, you can't see now you're three, Southampton one. Really, really poor first off it was, but second off, as soon as we fetched our number nine on, we comp that completely changed. Yeah, well, I guess for the first half, first uh, you were right. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. Thought Southampton had far too much of the game. Uh, obviously, they controlled the game at times. Once they went one and up, you know they start time wasting and rolling around the floor. You know what they're going to do. Obviously, that's fair enough. You know, a team in the bottom three comes to St James Park, a huge ground to come to, and uh, you can expect this now from teams that are in the bottom half of the table that are going to try and just wait the clock out against us uh, for us so I mean we allowed them to do it because we were rubbish in that first half I thought Anthony Gorn probably had the best chances of the team but yeah, he that. his end product wasn't good today he was wasteful in front of goal he wasn't doing the correct decisions and Newcastle I think the struggle we just limped through that first half so to then actually take Gordon off put Isak out wide and put Wilson up top the second half was complete chalk and cheese of difference. I mean, we went out there and we battered in the entire half. We created chance after chance after chance. We could have scored six or seven if we were on it today. I mean, we were classing that second half really good. Um, I think half time, the fans, everyone in the stadium, I mean, you could probably hear a kneel or a pin drop side because of just how flat I was. People just were just a bit deflated on that first half because you're thinking, oh, we're actually going to drop points here. We're thinking before the game, oh, it's going to be so easy. But now, second half, we were on it. It's how it should have been from minute one. But you could see Eddie Hall in the dressing room. He must have bollocked them in the dressing room because we came out a completely different team in that second half. Certainly did, certainly did. I mean, question for their goal. Who's picking Armstrong in the box up for, for them? No one. Well, yes, uh, obviously someone has to be on the box. So Bruno really softly lost the ball before because he had the... He must have had the ball for a couple of seconds or so. He just must think he has more time on the ball. He just doesn't even watch. He gets tackled straight. It's far too easy for him. He has to be getting the ball to the defender or just out or anywhere other than keeping out his feet. So, um, obviously, defenders after that should be dealing with it. But I think it has came from that, that Bruno error. But he made up the second half by scoring the, the winner. So, I can't fault him too much. Everyone knows how good he is anyway. So, it's not like uh, I'm calling him bad or anything. But now, uh, second half, we got the job done. That's the most important part. We, we'll deal about the defensive hours later. Was that definitely Bruno scored in that sec for the second one? It was hard to tell. Well, I thought it was Botman at first. And then, then the announcer said it was Bruno. So, obviously, uh, someone's either taught him or he's, he's seen it like a monitor or something. Unless he's just got it completely wrong. Um, well, I was shot to find out once I got my Wi Fi working. But I'm pretty sure it was Bruno. Uh, Absolutely. Wilson, he could have had four nearly the day. One for the offside, and then he hit the bar afterwards. Oh, he, he's class, and he? He's unbelievable, him. Uh, I know he had a bit of a tough patch in this season because he, uh, he came back from the World Cup break and I think he had COVID-19 so he, he really struggled to get back into the, the Premier League fitness, get back into motion but now that he's clicked with his sack, I mean he's bang, 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 left, right and side. He's got what, 14, 15 goals in 15 now. games? That's a class return, mind, for somebody as old as him now, somebody you can class as an injury prone player. That's an unbelievable return, mind. Him, him and Isak are, are so good. Joe Layton's been banging loads as well this season. No, it's free of a bag to so many goals. I'm more as well. Sorry, all four of them have been getting loads of goals for Yeah, absolutely. Would you start Wilson and put Isak out wide if Longstaff doesn't make the Arsenal game? Well, yeah, well, by the sounds of it, I think Longstaff might be knackered for the rest of the season because I think he's done a bone and, they, and he's full. We'll see, we'll have to get more on that. I'll see with that eye. But um, 
Yeah, someone played a second wide roast up top. I think it's an absolute no brainer. You, you can't not start a second roast together. I mean, those two are, are too good together. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's silly if you're not playing those two together against Arsenal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Arsenal, can we beat those next week? Uh, because I know they would have dropped a second out with Man City winning the day. I can't see why we can't do it again. I think it would be any team we're hoping to be honest with the way we're playing at the minute. Now, Arsenal will be about to play a commitment to the game. Um, I think the Premier League's out of their reach now. I don't see City dropping points. I think they've got to keep winning games. Um, Arsenal, because of the fact they drew three and then lost to the City, they're trailing now, so they've got to catch up the points. I don't see it happening at all. Um, um, I mean, for the Castle, though, it still will be a hard match, but last season, though, they needed Champions League football. Their last game of the season threw it away against us, they really did. So um, it's up to Newcastle now. We can do it once again. Beat them, I, I think you're almost guaranteed Champions League because all you've got to do is get a win against Leicester Leeds or draw against Brighton or something. I think after Arsenal, you beat them, I think we've done it. I think we really did it. Yeah, absolutely. I'd agree. Thank you. Thank you.